Let's make jam. Traditional strawberry jam with pectin. Select the jars you are going to use and make sure that you have new lids. Weigh out one kilogram of sugar with about four tablespoons of that sugar in a separate bowl. Mix two teaspoons of classic pectin into the small bowl of sugar and set aside. Wash and hull the berries, making sure you have one kilo. Place the strawberries into a large pot and start heating gently. Depending on how ripe the fruit is, you may wish to add a little water. You can crush to release the juice. Add two to three tablespoons of lemon juice and leave to simmer. The riper the fruit, the more you need to add. Add the sugar and pectin mix, sprinkling slowly while stirring vigorously. Pectin clumps readily if added directly on its own Combining the pectin with some sugar helps when mixing the pectin into the fruit. Add the rest of the sugar and stir in well. Bring back to the boil for two or three minutes. Making sure that your jars are warm, start filling them using a jar funnel, leaving about 20 millimeter headspace. This jar funnel is the smaller one on our website that is suitable for 63 mil openings on recycled jars. The ladle is 240 mil so we'll fill the 250ml jar correctly with one scoopful. After you have filled the jars, wipe down the rims and cap with new lids. The filled and capped jars now need to be boiling water bath processed. Place a cake rack or two in the bottom of a stock pot and fill to about the height of a jar with hot water. Using a jar lifter, place the hot jars into the hot water. These jar lifters are great. They are easy to hold and will help prevent accidental scalding of your hands. Ensure the jars are fully submerged with at least 25 mm of water over the top of the jars. Bring to a rolling boil and process for 10 minutes. Remove the hot jars and allow to cool.
As they cool over the next 12 to 24 hours, the pop-top buttons will pop down, showing a successful seal. A day later and they are all popped down, ready to be labelled and stored in the pantry. Learn more about home preserving at greenlivingaustralia.com.au